Got the new yard set up out on the back acreage. The uh, the other small hive from last year that was sick, they got robbed out late fall, so they were gone. Look at that. They got robbed out. So, first time I've seen it, but this is what they say to look for. Jagged edges all around, not a clean cut. So jagged, they just rip through. I noticed last week when I checked the bottom board down there, there was a bunch of cappings on that side. I thought maybe they just eat through it. Because uh, I saw a bunch of bees going in and out for a while there. And I've overreacted in the past and, and uh, thought they were getting robbed. I saw no fighting on the outside. Just lots of bees going in and out, but also checking other entrances. Um, so I think the other stronger hive uh, took everything from them. Um, so now I got them set up out here. Unfortunately, the other hive that was doing pretty good, I had a lot of moisture issues really in the uh, winter. I put a quilt box on there, but The damage was done, so they ended up dwindling down to nothing. So we're starting over. So I got a couple of packages coming in. We'll we'll try year two. We'll see if we do better this year. Lessons learned. Um, I missed a spot, so I had to repaint. But yeah, I got the electric fence up. That's their new yard. Water source down there. Danny Land's already coming up. So the bees used to be down over there on the other side, kind of at the bottom of the hill, which there was there was a download downward slope from that. So I thought the cool air would not pull up there, but I was wrong. There was water running out of the bottom board as soon as it started freezing, and yep, didn't didn't end well for them. Didn't feel bad about it, but you know, we got them up here more so at the top of a hill. So it all slopes down from here. But yeah, so hopefully next weekend we'll officially start year two. And try to do a better job. Now I do have the other hive left, a bunch of uh, resources left over. So on each of these, I got one full frame of honey on the outside, on each side, a full frame of pollen and then empty frames in there on both of them. Uh, I did get one of these Abame bottom boards. You can see the, <laughs> okay, girl is trying to get in there already. I thought it'd be kind of neat to catch a swarm, but if I catch them now, uh, I don't have enough boxes to really set up correctly for the packages I got coming, so I closed it off. These are pretty neat though. I open and close. So, so far, and I mostly got it because I have a friend that wants some pollen and propolis. These are the kind of traps you can put on there, which is pretty neat. You just pop this off, you slide the trap in there, and here it slides all the way to the front, and then when you're done, you pop this guy out, which will have a little tray in here, and then you pull that tray out, you got all your pollen. And since we have a lot of pollen out here, I should be able to do that for a couple rounds. You know, a day here and a day there. And that's just to keep them from using that as a back entrance. Uh, my fancy grating here. So I get my slope on it. I get the other one too. Scrap wood. But they're both even. They got a 5% grade down. So, application, full sun. So moisture issues won't be an issue next fall and winter. Um, hopefully the hive beetles will be less. I don't think they did much damage, but it'd be nice if the full sun will help them. And, uh, yeah. and of course they have a whole field here. Uh, I put up the electric fence because the cows are out. I don't know if you can see them. 
they roam around here, so I put the electric fence up to keep them out. Kind of set up the fence the first time I didn't turn it on because the cows weren't out here yet. And something, something plowed through here. I don't know if it was a deer hit it or what, but it ripped up the whole fence. So I had to redo it, but I made it bigger. So I have a lot more room. It was about half the size before and it was going to be cramped. So I got room for expansion up here. Of course, I can make it bigger too if I go crazy. I get a lot more hives, but yeah. So I have more clover and dandelions and stuff. Um, the neighbor does hay this, so it's going to grow up. I'll hay it back down and then the clover will come back up. At least that's what I saw last year. Um, but yeah, pretty excited. You know, some lessons under the belt, but I think this is going to be a much better spot. And of course, we got, once it, this comes in, we got more of a northern block, because that's due north. And we got trees over there, this little block, you know, the western wind too, so. We have a, a lot of bonuses for being out here. And the, uh, see, some start, stuff is starting to bloom a little bit. There's nothing over here. But the apple tree is about to bloom. You can kind of see that tree out there starting to bloom. Or not start to bud anyway. So pollen is just now starting to become available. So if we get them in next week, it will be good timing. Yeah, and I'll put that robbing screen on so they don't rob that honey out. I ended up with a full deep and a medium full of honey left over. But it's treated honey, so I can't use it. So I'm going to feed it back to them. Um, but that's a lot of frames I got that I can't use right now, so I may have to just you know, crack them open and open feed away from the yard here. But yeah, that's it. These little, I guess, feral bees are pretty dark. But check it out. I do have nuke box. I am tempted to throw it out here and leave that open and see if anyone moves in. I don't have much more drawn frame that isn't full of honey, but I guess I need my frames, so I guess worst case if they rob those out, I'll at least have open frames again, so yeah, I might actually do that.